Incoming transmission. Greetings everybody, Irish Trekkie back with another Star Trek, the official Starships collection video. This time a little bit different than on my normal videos because today is Voyager's birthday. Happy 25th. Oh my god, I'm getting old. But what's the alternative? Exactly. So um, I wanted to mark the occasion by highlighting my top five uh, Voyager uh, ships. And uh, I do have maybe an argument type of a ship in there <laughs> but I, I, I'll talk about that a little bit later on but um, please feel free share your top five ships and I know that's a very tall order to limit yourself to but uh, let me know what your top five ships be a federation uh, alien or a mixture of both obviously I've kind of gone for a certain uh, affiliation here but um, these are going to be in no particular order again all uh, from Eagle Moss so do check out show support to the company that makes these by checking out the description box below and while you're down there you'll see the um, fan pages such as the hero collector fan page and um, memory alpha which is a great resource as well for looking at the collections as well as Wixaban and so on and so on and so on and my social media links are down there as well so uh, let's dive into it in no particular order obviously well not obviously but for me I'm putting in Voyager herself. This is the XL version, uh, which was number five. This was released on the 28th of December, 2017. So again, the collection's getting a little bit old as well. But um, lovely ship. It was the mainstay, um, the new ship to uh, you know traverse the Badlands and be very self-sufficient with bioneural technology and you know being very capable with you know a fantastic torpedo. Uh, count <laughs> you know and an amazing shuttle bay and crafting facilities as well but um you know i think it stood the test of time and uh, it's a nice little ship a tough little ship a flexible little ship with a great crew and the xl version is quite nice as well again all of these ships have been individually reviewed so do check out the playlist in the description box below um we also have the delta flyer over here as you can see um, not that I need to point it out but um, the Delta Flyer again a ship designed by Tom Paris within uh, Voyager herself so this was first seen on the episode Extreme Risk which featured in season 5 um, episode number 3 I believe and um, again you know it's the fusion of being a bit of a race ship a bit of Borg technology in there as well a fun little ship and uh, cool to see the process of design and uh, the ship being used uh, in many episodes since and i'm um, really happy to have it in the collection delighted that it was a, in the mainstay this was in issue 38 from uh, eagle moss which came on uh, the 27th of january 2015 so way way back when and uh, we've since gotten shuttle packs and so on but they're small ships and there's a couple of really cool voyager ships in there as well but I didn't want to put them in this video. Um, the argumentative kind of ship here is the Aero Shuttle. Uh, so this was number issue 78, which came on the 3rd of August 2016, if memory serves. Technically didn't feature in this configuration in the show, but you saw many a belly shot. So that's why I'm putting it in the list, because it did feature in it. And uh, the retcon was that uh, it was never completed. <laughs> That's why it was never used. The Aero Shuttle, a lovely little shuttle. But again, it would have been a great opportunity to finish that instead of making the Delta Flyer. But then we would have lost the Delta Flyer. Sound off in the comments below. Would you have preferred to see the Aero Shuttle be the mainstay ship uh, to take the role of the Delta Flyer if that was the case? Or are you happy with the Delta Flyer as it was? Um, on this side over here we have the prometheus now the prometheus was uh from issue number 25 this came out in um the 23rd of july 2014 so this was very early in the collection uh first seen on message in a bottle uh which was uh, episode 14 of series four i believe and um the reason i'm putting this in here i initially had uh, the Equinox or Equinox depending on how you, pon how you pronounce it but um, I put that back and I put down the Prometheus because 
I liked the episode. I really liked the design in the fact that it had that unique selling point of being a multi-vector ship, you know, seeing it split up, uh, a little bit quirky, but even together as a whole, lovely little ship and um, very capable and just a nice, interesting play to be, to, to be surprised by a ship in a franchise that's spanned many decades is no small feat. And um, again, great design. And I was looking at the collection and I was looking at alien ships like the Krennan, the Herogen, Species 8472, but to name a few, there's been quite a lot of alien ships and that's one of the kind of successes of Voyager um, because it was a real exploration type of show. But um, I wanted to kind of just put in a real quirky little one, uh, Captain Proton's rocket ship. This was first seen in Bride of Chaotica, which was uh, episode 12 of season five. This was issue 111, which came out on the 9th of November, 2017 from uh, Eagle Moss. And uh, the reason I put this in here is uh number one again like the prometheus it was just a fun side story that it was just like something that harry and tom used to do and then kind of got worked into a more substantial story arc very classic retro vibes as well from it and like where else are you going to get captain proton's rocket ship but a collection like this um I just it's, it's just quirky and you know what I like it in this selection of five ships I'm very curious to know what your five are going to be and um, like I'm looking around there uh, all the alien species again like even Neelix's ship there's Borg ships in there as well that you could kind of argue against um, even like going back to Caretaker you have the Raider the like the Nightingale um, yeah there, there is a plethora of ships for us to choose from but these are my top five to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Voyager and you know this year is going to be an amazing roller coaster for Star Trek with Picard season four of Discovery Lower Decks and many other shows in production but let's celebrate and mark the occasion that this year is the year of Voyager and I think that is really cool because Voyager went where no one had gone before the delta quadrant and it was in the peak of the renaissance of star trek and we're back in another renaissance of star trek as well going where no one has gone before be it character driven be it timelines and story directions and stuff like that as well so huge high hopes for like mike mcmahon and the gang for alex kurtzman and what he's doing to the franchise and all the creatives uh, in the mix and you know I want to give a big kind of shout out as you can hear me clapping away there to everyone involved in here at Collector and Eagle Moss because I'm looking at a wall of ships um, that always put a smile to my face and uh, if you don't know they also do like Battlestar Galactica, uh, alien ships, figurines, books, um, Doctor Who, uh, I think Harry Potter's in there. Uh, Marvel, all the rigmaroles. Um, but again, like this isn't a sponsored video or anything, and this is done on my own accord. So again, uh, do check out the description box below for their standard shop. It's not affiliated. Uh, if you want to spend money, you can. I don't get anything for it. Um, but I just want to pass on a massive thanks for putting the collection together. And I know it's a business because we're spending money with you, but uh, it's great. Uh, it's it's an unparalleled collection. Uh, I don't think anyone can argue that point. But um, yeah, again, in summary, there's my top five Voyager ships to celebrate 25 years. Um, this video is made possible by my Patreon supporters as well. So again, thanks for uh, supporting me on a monthly basis. If you want to join the tribe, do check out the description box below. And again, thanks for your support for taking the time out of your day to stop by and check out this little video as well. Feel free to share it and share your thoughts about Voyager in the comments below. Maybe uh, share it with someone who likes Star Trek in your life as well. Let's get the word out there. And again, thanks for subscribing, liking, and as I say, sharing the video. Um, time for me to say goodbye. So uh, as always, I've been your local Irish Trekkie and I will see you in the next video. So you take it easy and goodbye.